morning to Miss Michelle and uh, then how to address Miss Michelle. Good afternoon. So uh, my team and I are going to present our employer project we have done for Twin PLT Company. So I'm Toshan Yi, uh, and then there are my group mates, including Teo Kai Win, Yong Mun Shan, Ng Pei Yin, Xiong Xiong Kun, Yong Cheng Wei, and also Yang Bong Shi. So first of all, uh, after a few meetings we had with Mr. Allen, the director of Twin PLT Company, we have identified two major issues that Twin PLT Company is currently facing. First is their challenge in obtaining their top talents in the company. Secondly, are they try to achieve sustainable business model, but they couldn't find an appropriate solution yet. So according to the information we have obtained from Mr. Allen from Twin PLT, he has stated a few reasons why Twin PLT are losing their top talents. First of all, he said that uh, people nowadays are not willing to work in uncomfortable working environment as they are from an engineering company, they are required to work on site a lot. Then secondly, Mr. Allen also assumed that Generation Y nowadays are reluctant to work in small medium enterprise like Twin PLT company. They prefer to work in corporate company or business company like Dell or Intel to secure uh, for better job secure. Lastly, uh, these two are the main issues that cause low employee engagement in Twin PLT company. Hence, we strongly uh, encourage or advise Twin PLT company to enhance their employer branding. I want to give a brief introduction about what is uh, employee branding. Employee branding is the process of a company in creating a good uh, working environment to in order to promote and attract the talents with uh, suitable knowledge and also skill which can help Twin PLT to achieve their company goal and objective. So what are the importance and benefits a good employer branding to Twin PLT? First of all, a good employer branding can help the company to attract large numbers of qualified candidates which can also improve the quality of the new hires and in overall they can, it can reduce the cost of recruitment. Secondly, are the higher levels of engagement of the employee which can also uh, improve the productivity and also the customer satisfaction of Twin PLT. Thirdly, a good employer branding can significantly cut down attrition rates of a company and then with the improved quality of their candidates, it can build an, uh, Twin PLT can build an all-star team in order to maintain their competitive advantage in the engineering industry. Okay, we have created uh, a Google survey form and sent to 80 respondents, respondents on social media uh, to understand the demand of the talent and also employee in the market. And the first will be the age. Their majority of the respondents are from 21 to 25 years old and second will be 26 to 30 years old. And next, in the education level, uh, there are majority on degree and also diploma. For working status, there are majority in the but uh, in the full time and also student and less percentage on part timer and also freelancer. In the survey, we found that most of the respondents will seek for the vacancy on online such as social media or website. And secondly, there are 37.5 of percentage of respondents will look for vacancy on the career fair, in the career fair, and third will be in the school, college, university, and 10% uh, seek vacancy on internship and lastly the least the least platform they seek for job is via recommendation which twin company is currently using this method uh, for their employee method and the most expected salary from respondents are 2006 to 3005 and which occupied 46 percent and 22%, 22.2% will be uh, 3,006 3, to 4,005. Okay, for the desirable working hours, we found that majority of the respondents are prefer working uh, 9 to 10 hours. And for, for, 
four to five hours and and six to eight hours are uh, occupied the same percentage, which which is twenty percent, and this percentage on eleven to twelve hours. Okay, for a desirable working hour, there are majority majority of the respondents are prefer working indoor. Okay, and this is our last survey questions, which is what reward do they prefer? And we found that there are more than half that more than half of the respondents are have chosen intrinsic, uh, which is the sense of achievement. Uh, flexible working hours or a cozy environment and there are 42 percent have chosen extrinsic uh, which is monetary reward fringe reward uh, such as uh, housing allowance and also also the medical insurance or promotion so what are the twin company lacking of firstly According to our research, they do not they do not have any official website. All right, official website plays a very important role in this generation. So, if you have the official website, you can get the information and vacancy online. Next, you can recruit. Uh, it can enhance your recruitment and uh, uh, make sure business is uh, good. And then, thirdly, you can improve the empl employer branding. So, according to the research we have done just now, uh, the the survey we have, uh, that Joanne has mentioned. So online recruiting is the most is most uh, majority of the people nowadays. They are more uh, uh, desire in online uh, finding job online. So our solution to this problem is doing company need to create an attractive official website. They also can invest on LinkedIn, Job Street, Facebook. Rice Bowl and so on. For example, L'Oreal has the strongest employer brand in the market according to Jogan 2018 because they always active online and reply applications uh, within two days, which means 48 hours. So this is the quotation uh, we have found uh, from, we have uh, obtained from jobs, jobstreet.com. So we, we encourage twin company to uh, to try to apply uh, on this job street to recruit the talents. So the second problem is insufficient exposure in employee market. It is very important for employer branding, and uh, ho but however nowadays uh, we realize that twin company they only recruit mem uh, talents by recommendation. So our suggestion to this solution is they have to be active in joining career fair. And next, leave good impression to the market and target applications. Thirdly, uh, the company should send um, some experienced engineer and project manager to the college students in order to create great impression to the undergraduates. In this case, we have contacted the organizer of the Penang Career and Postgraduate Expo and Conference. So this, the first picture is the poster of uh, the event this year although the ta uh, date already expired but this event is uh, is going to organize annually so this com a twin company also can um, apply for this application next year so the second one is the application form and then this is a pricing of the exhibition roof rental package for two days they have di different uh, pricing package they have single booth double booth exclusive booth and island booth so it depends on which uh, package they want Next, I will talk about source of candidates. Twin company they have limited source of talents. They should organize. Uh, they can uh, for the solution. They can collaborate with university or college for the competition and organize engineering related competition for scouting. Uh, they also can offer scholarship to potential undergraduates, uh, but they have must have at least two to three years bond with the company. For example. The Moto Inno Cup 2015 is an annual open university competition sponsored by Motorola Solution and supported by Talent Crop and Press. 
and organized by INTI with the intention of nurturing young talents in software development. The champion will get 5,000 ringgit Malaysia and the first runner out will get uh, uh, 2,000 ringgit Malaysia and the first runner out will get 1,000 ringgit Malaysia. And for, uh, for the example, INTI third with STEM talent incubator by receiving receiving Motorola Solution Foundation Global Grants Awards with total worth of 45,000 USD been, award, been awarded this year. Indy continues to earn recognition from the Motorola Solution as an important incubator for STEM talents within the Benin States. Now we will talk about the ways to retain the employees. The first way for Twin PLT to retain the employees is provide more varieties of benefit and motivation words to those employees who can work for them. The first point is provide share and annual performance bonus not only for the top management but then also for the bottom line of workers. And also they can bond with employees by praising the employee with good performance after they've done any jobs or after the job evaluation, the performance appraisal. So here comes our solution that recommend to Twin PLT. Our recommendation is implementing the Kudos Point System. Kudos Point System is a system that let the workers uh, uh, reward each other with a points. For example, like co-worker A help co-worker B for in a project or any favor. So the co-worker B can reward them, uh, reward the co-worker A with points. At the end of the year, with the highest, mark, uh, highest marks in Kudos points, they can achieve them with like some vouchers or so on. So the second way to retain the employee is improve employee engagement. As been mentioned by Mr. Allen, they have less employee engagement. So our solution to solve this problem is before they doing uh, the interview, Team PLT can do a DSP, uh, DISC personality test to test about the employee, whether they are suitable for the job. And also to improve the employee engagement, Team PLT can send their best performance employee to training so that the employee will feel that this company is appreciate them and value them. The, uh, the one of the way to retain employee is through employee wise. Employee wise eventually when the employee feel that they are able to be respond to talk to themselves. Senior leader senior leader has to ensure that they are to build up, to build into decision making in at the higher level. The senior manager, the senior manager can set up formal channel. To set to setting up a formal channel is very important to the employee to provide their employee wise. It could be publicly acting as much led to the idea of employee wise is completely visible and legitimize. The next one is a common formal channel is having representative on the management committee. Some people some people may feel that they are more able to uh, communicate with the employee representative than the manager. Although they may be struggle to give the job related feedback Used to lack of the context. There are also a few benefits of giving employee wise, which were higher performance rating and also lower turnover rate. People who know that they are when they are value to the employee, to the company, and be the um, the opinion will be heard. So they tend to work harder than before. This means that they will put more effort and focus on their job and the company will get more profit. 
The less benefit is lower turnover rate with employee being low. The, the employee, this is the way to cook the employees. This is the way to keep the employee are uh, potential employees. is because they are not very happy at their work but as they will leave the job and go to the somewhere else. This is especially for the now generation Y and they will leave the job and to change their job fast more than baby boomer. education instead of work. This can be explained by when company hire an employees uh, not only to let them to work but also let them to learn during the process. This is called a part of job training. Some employees enjoy learning and take salary at the same time. When they get to gain knowledge while working, they feel like they are learning something new and develop a, a better a better future for their career pathway. This will help in retaining retaining them in the company as they feel that they were growing with the company. Company must communicate well and directly with their employees for their job. For instance, uh, before doing a job, uh, the company should explain uh, what they need to do first and what kind of result will lead after the task. After the task. Uh, twin companies can send their employees to the conference uh, or the training training process for that. So the next plan for Twin PRT is to provide new plans for break time. Firstly, uh, boost employee productivity. It helps employee to save time, save cost. What is save time? Um, save time is they do not need to travel outside to get their food during their work time. Next is save cost. What do you mean by save cost? They did not need to drive their car out so they can save petrol and they don't need to spend more. Furthermore, if you eat outside, uh, you will need to spend more money for your food. First of all, uh, for healthy meals, Twin PLT should provide healthy meals for their employee during the work time. First of all, when you care about their health, your employee feels that they are important in the company. When your employee feels that they are valued, they tend to stay longer in the company. A healthy diet can keep the employer from getting sick and it will boost their health condition. For example, the Google, the Google company, a well-known company, they implemented, uh, they implemented this plan to retain their employee as well. They even hired a chef to cook a diet, healthy diet meals for their employee during their work time. So as for conclusion, Recruitment method cannot solely rely on a single method. Twin PLT companies should search for more methods to find new employees. Next, they must not rely on monetary incentive only because intrinsic reward matters. It is to ensure that they are comfort when working in a company and also let company feel that they have a sense of achievement. Last but not least, twin PLT companies should be aggressive in recruitment and employee branding. Branding is important because it represents your reputation. And if your reputation is high, there will be more employee coming into your company. So this will be the reference of our work. And that's all for our presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Lee. You mentioned employee branding. 
So how to increase and solve branding? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, from all the solutions we have mentioned after the employer branding slide, we believe that the official web, uh, through official website, through official website, and also and also the they are ex increase their exposure in the employee market can increase their employer branding. Okay, and then the survey actually um, I don't understand what is the survey for. What's the survey for? Because uh, we have talked to Mr. Allen previously. Like we asked, like we asked him like the what you wish us to do to be like uh, done or something. And he said, oh, maybe you guys can conduct a survey to understand the need and the requirement of current uh, employee market. But do you have any questions for the survey? So uh, actually, you did not explain what is the survey purpose. So you just directly uh, present the finding. So actually, you do not have any idea what are all these findings for. Uh, but actually, I have mentioned just now that uh, the uh, survey response from survey conducted among 80 respondents. Uh, 80 respondents uh, to understand the, the demand of the market. The demand of the market. Uh, for, for the employees and also oh. talents. Demand. For the dem demand of employee and also talent in the market. What the employee really want in the market? Yeah. And okay, actually, um, all the recommendations like um, um, recruit online job street and then to go for the career fair expose and then to have some like uh, cooperation with the colleges to sponsor them for the project base and also including the ways to retain the employees. Actually, I would say that majority of your um, proposals, okay, incurred cost. You use money, okay, to retain the people. And then at last you conclude, okay, um, intrinsic is more ex important than extrinsic. But actually you spend more. Yeah, we spend You're more spending, money. You keep spending job trade, okay, I want to get one employee, then I have to, I have to post on job trade, then I have to pay. Then if I want to get more recruit, I mean uh, the candidates crew, then I have to go to the job fair. Then this is where I have to pay. And then I have to provide news to my employees. I have to order the healthy food. That's what the Google, they are doing. Google is one of the top, uh, I mean, uh, desire, okay, uh, working place. And then you compare, okay, an SME to a top world working company. You're building all the efforts of it by money. Yeah, Miss Mitch, I would like to clarify because we when we say uh intrinsic and also extrinsic reward, it's to the it's what the employee feel. It's instead of what employee the employee, employee need to spend some money to make the employer employee feel comfortable. So I think it's two different separate things. Okay, but to the company this is all the cost incurred. They are increasing their cost. Yeah, but uh, we we also insist that if, if you want to uh, achieve your objective, of course you need to spend some budget uh, Instead, uh, but but we can choose the less costly one. For the meal plan, uh, we think it doesn't cost a lot for one because we can order like buffet or something like uh, instead of not buffet like uh, but not really expensive. We can order like catering service. Okay, and then last but not least, improve employee engagement. Actually, do you understand what is the meaning of employee engagement? The bonding between the employer with employee, whether is that their relationship is good. So for this, we will say that we will send our em the employee for training so that the employee will feel that they will be appreciated and valued by the employer. And also during the, at the first point, hire the right person, we will do like not only one time interview, we will do more than two or three times to ensure that the employee really want to work for the company.